Hello guys and welcome back to Beyond the Realms. It has been a very, very long time since I've done a video and this was actually something that was not planned and, but you know, things change. And what happened with this was last weekend, um, the creepy Kentuckian, Wes Vance from deadpit.com, um, he did a live, uh, horror auction video and it was so cool to see man i mean he went through and was offering some of his collection taking bids and at the end of the video he picked up an acoustic guitar and played the old dead pit theme and just the whole thing was really awesome very nostalgic um, i think a lot of people really enjoyed that and he said there'll be more videos and it just it suddenly made me think like, man, you know, what if I did something, you know, with Beyond the Realms again, how could I make it relevant now to, you know, my life now and what I do now? And, you know, I still obviously love movies, watch movies a lot, but I do not collect movies like I used to. But I do, however, collect vinyl records and that has pretty much taken over my record or my collecting habits these days. And I have amassed quite a collection over the past four years or so. And um, so I figured why not do one showing some of my horror movie vinyl. And I don't want to just say score because some of these are soundtracks. Most of these are scores, but that's why I'm labeling this horror vinyl. So let's just start right off, right? Um, you know, everybody, I'll say this too, you know, everybody's going through crazy times right now. And uh, I just figured, you know, why, you know, why not do a video? Hopefully put a smile on a few people's faces. I've had several people actually ask me about doing videos again, which it means a lot to me, you know, and um, I really appreciate that. So hopefully, you know, you guys will enjoy this and... Um, yeah, uh, there'll, there'll be a couple at least. I'm thinking there'll be at least three or four of these coming up. I'm going to do them in different ways. Um, these here are going to be ones that you don't necessarily see all the time. Like, I know a lot of people, even people who aren't record collectors per se, collect the Waxwork records just because they're so amazing. And I will have a special video just showing my Waxworks collection because I do have quite a bit of Waxworks uh, records. Um, but this is going to be ones that you don't see all the time. I mean, a lot of you that collect records will probably have these, but these aren't ones that, you know, are out there every day to be seen. Um, so the first one up, this right here, when I've got my first, well, my first record player was back when I was a kid, but when I got back into record collecting, I was at Half Price Books, which is a, re re uh, a reselling store that they have all over the Midwest. And um, I was in there, and I saw a record player, and I'm like, man, I'd really like to get one. So I bought a cheap little crappy uh, record player that they had there, and this was the first record that I bought there the same day. Dracula, the old, um, uh, I don't know, 1979 version. And if you notice here... It says, composed and conducted by John Williams. And yes, it is the John Williams um, that everybody knows from Star Wars, Close Encounters, Third Kind, Jaws, on and on and on and on and on. Yes, he did do this score. Uh, it's a little beat up, but the record itself plays great. This is an awesome score. I really enjoy this. I'm glad that I picked it up. And I've only seen this maybe one or two more times since then. Like, I don't know how rare it is. I'm sure it's not probably too rare, but this isn't one you see too often at all. So I'm really glad I picked that up. It was just a blind buy. I'm so glad I got it. Here's one that I just got today for my good buddy Doug at Karma Records, which is the best local record store in Indianapolis, in my opinion. And this is a great one here, guys. Spookies. Check that out so glad to have this which this movie just recently got released on black friday from vinegar syndrome there's the awesome blu-ray uh 80s cheese to the max the movie makes absolutely no sense the score is awesome uh 
I actually do not remember the whole entire score of this. It's hard to find even online. Like if you look this up on YouTube, there's only a few songs, like the opening credits and the end credits. Um, but just 80s horror synth music, really awesome stuff. And on the front here, it says that this is a colored vinyl, and it is not. I'm not going to pull it out now, but it is not. It's actually just a black vinyl, which is a little disappointing, but it doesn't matter. The music's what matters most, right? And this is from a company called Terror Vision, which I am not familiar with at all out of Savannah, Georgia. So I'm going to have to look them up and see if they've put out any other products. But I'm very happy to have that. This here is really amazing. And this was put out by Death Waltz, which Death Waltz is a very awesome horror score company that puts out vinyl. And this is uh, Joseph De, uh, Loduca's the reimagining of the Evil Dead. Now, the original Evil Dead score does not exist anywhere, anywhere. The tapes do not exist. So what he did here is he went back and did a recreation of the music and, like, reimagined it. Like, basically, it goes through the whole movie, and it has hints here and there of the original sound, original score, and all that, but it is a totally new score by the original composer, of the original film really really awesome stuff guys as soon as this was announced I knew I had to get it I special ordered this one to make sure that I got it and um, I don't believe yeah this is they, these are this is a colored edition this is a red here but it's a it's a 2 LP edition um, just great I love it I mean you know, there, there are certain musical cues in the movie that this doesn't have that I wish he would have recreated, but that's just a minor complaint because overall this is a really, really awesome record. So, the original Evil Dead. Here we have the Evil Dead remake, which is a movie that I absolutely despised when it first came out, but that was my own stupid uh, little grudges I had about it even being remade. But I've since come to love this movie. This is... A really good score check that out I like it it's very tense and uh, this uh, this is also a 2 LP set and this is a really cool splatter I think that's what it's called edition I'm not real good with the terminology on exact types unless it's like listed right on the cover I can't ever remember I'm pretty sure it's a splatter but that's pretty awesome but if you can see it's a it's a green in there. It kind of is coming off black, it looks like, on the video. But that's like a green, greenish splatter on this one. Really love this score. And like I said, I've came to, <clears throat> to really love the movie. Here's the other one. Pictures on the sleeve here. The record is the exact same type of splatter. So, yeah, the Evil Dead remake. Now, this next one was one that I absolutely was amazed to find <clears throat> this was at a horror hound weekend here in indianapolis a couple years ago um I'm trying to remember uh paul bear press i believe is the one uh they're a t-shirt company and they have they always have a little vinyl section of horror scores and they always have some incredible ones in there a little high priced but they're ones that you're not going to see out in the wild every day. I'm sure you can find them on eBay, but not out in the wild. So when I saw this, I immediately grabbed it. It was high priced. I did not care. I wanted it. And that is an original pressing of Day of the Dead from George Harrison. This is no question. There's nothing close to it for me. This is the greatest horror score of all time for me. I just, I, I absolutely adore this score and to have it is amazing i mean it's incredible this is uh it, it's it's <clears throat> in mint condition there are no scratches no fault well there's a little scuff here on the back you can probably see it right there but it plays perfectly it there this the scuff doesn't show up in listening to it there's no surface noise it plays fantastic and i am so glad to have this and this is not the only edition of this I have, as you will see in later videos. So, the original pressing here, let me get it back in here without tearing anything up. There we go. So, so happy to have that. Here's another one. An all-time favorite and one I am thrilled to have. Uh, I got this off of um, 
Discogs, which is a, a music trading site for vinyl, CDs, everything. It's really awesome. And this is, I believe this is a German pressing. I'm not exactly sure, but it is trick or treat. The 1986 cheese horror a uh, satanic horror film with cameos from Gene Simmons and Ozzy Osbourne. And this has every song in the movie on here. After Midnight, Don't Stop the Fight, Stand Up, Trick or Treat, Tear Down the Walls, Get Tough. Get Tough! The boys had enough! Oh, I know you guys were just asking for that. But yes, another one. Oh man, I adore. I will never part with this. Look at that. That is just amazing artwork and I actually do have the original one sheet hanging right up there also which is just right out of frame in my picture uh, next up this is another one from Death Waltz um, amazing so glad to have this Fabio Frizzi one of the greatest composers ever this is the beyond man I tell you you talk about one atmospheric and just killer score man this is one you can put on that'll send chills up your up and down your spine Got that right there on the inside. It's got a nice long reading material here on the inside by different people involved with it, uh, associate producers and people that helped bring this score to life um, on vinyl. So awesome. And yet another one from Death Waltz, City of Living Dead. Death Waltz and Fabio Frizzi, that is. This one I found used, man, at uh, another local uh, record store, Indie CD and Vinyl. I could not believe that I found it. I had to immediately pick it up. Um, this one is on, that, that last one was black. This is on red vinyl. And this also is really cool. Check this out. This is, this is some neat stuff you get with vinyl releases sometimes, just depending on the company and the release. A nice poster of the artwork that they did specifically for this release and something else that is really cool about this release is it tells you right here on the front that this is the definitive version of this classic italian soundtrack includes 17 newly mastered tracks including several unreleased cues that weren't used in the film and a bonus 10-minute live suite recorded in London in 2013. Wow. I mean, they really make it worth your time to get this. And if you know this film well, you will definitely notice the unused cues in this. You're like, whoa, I do not remember that. It's because it wasn't in the movie, which is really cool to finally hear that for the first time ever on this release. <clears throat> and here is a new one from Fabio Frizzi. And I don't know if a lot of people realize he did this one, but uh, Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich. Uh, this is an awesome score, man. Totally done in that old Italian style. Um, man, I just, you know, this movie, I've never been the biggest Puppet Master fan. Um, but I really enjoyed this movie. And we got a theme going on today, another red one. But this is like, a, this is a splatter or some type of something got like little white dots and smudges in it that's not flaws on the record that is uh that's the type of pressing it is um but really awesome score man so awesome fabio frizzy definitely still has it man he knocked it out of the park with this one it's a fantastic score that i spend frequently here's another italian classic see if you know that one guys cannibal holocaust from riz ortolani this is a great one and um I'm so happy to have this one. This is another one that I, uh, I ordered this one. Um, don't see too many people have this one. I'm sure there are, but I don't see it thrown around too often. And this is a really awesome version here. Check this out. Really, really cool. And that's side A, but side B is the real kicker here. Now, this is just, you talk about awesome way uh, to put this. It's got the chick that's impaled and you put the record post through her mouth on the back. <laughs> Tell me that isn't awesome. So cool. Um, just a great score, man. Just so, it's, it's weird because a lot of the music sounds happy in all this, and it's just the most vile and sick and disgusting things are happening in this movie. It's such an effective score, an effective movie. Just everything about this one, I, I adore. It, I think it's one of the most important horror films of all time. Um, 
I know, you know, a lot of people, understandably, and myself also, you know, do not enjoy the uh, animal killings in it. But I, I think for the content, you know, it, there's arguments either way. I'm not going to go down that route. But, yes, Cannibal Holocaust, amazing score. Now, this one here is a newer independent film that picked up a lot of steam a couple years ago. And it's become a staple in this household for Halloween. And this is The Barn. Really awesome retro feel horror film um, based in 83, I think, something like that. But uh, yeah, total 80s metal uh, synth, just creepy uh, 80s horror sound all the way through this. Absolutely great score, great movie. It definitely feels, this, this, is, a, this is a throwback film done right. Um, just excellent Halloween horror film, just an awesome feel and everything. An all-time classic right here, guys. This is one that I found at Half Price Books, too, not long after I got my record player, The Lost Boys. Now, this is the soundtrack that has all the songs on it. Um, and, of course, it does have Cry Little Sister on it, which which is on side two. Um, yeah, all of them, all the songs, man, that's in the movie are on this. Really great to have such a, just a great collection of songs, man. In Excess... Everybody, Roger Daltrey's on her, Echo and the Bunny Men, and of course Tim Tim Capello, who did the the uh, I Still Believe that is on here also. Uh, here is a newer uh, horror film, indie uh, horror film. This one comes from Death Vaults, also awesome. I know a lot of people talk about this one. A lot of people really like this one. Summer of '84. This is a great synth wave score. Um, I absolutely love it. It's fantastic. The guy's name is, uh, or the band guy, artist, whatever, I'm not sure, Lamatos. Um, man, if you haven't seen this movie, check it out. If you've not heard this score, check it out. Absolutely fantastic 80s score. Now I'm going to get into a couple here that don't really apply to this video, but, I, but they do in the same time. This here is from a band called Survive. They are the band who did the Stranger Things score. They have done all the Stranger Things score. This is one of their original releases. Um, this is not tied to any movie, any TV show, or anything. But it is completely full-on a horror-type score all the way. If you love John Carpenter-type stuff, definitely check this out. It is absolutely incredible. I love Survive. And... This is the latest one that they released, and this one came out in 2016. So they, they need to get another one out, because I want it. Um, here's one that I know a lot of people grew up with. This is one fun to play at Halloween time or any other time of the year if you're a horror fan like us nerds. Uh, the Chilling Thrilling Sounds of Haunted House. And this is a repress. I actually bought this one brand new. It got bent up somehow. I don't even know how that happened. A little pissed off about that. But all kinds of stuff on here, man, like the haunted house, the very long fuse, the dogs, timber, your pet cat, shipwreck, unsafe bridge, Chinese water torture, the birds, Martian monsters, screams and groans, and each song is self-explanatory here. Really awesome old throwback. Um, it's the Disneyland catalog of child, children's records. Is one of the finest of whatever, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so it comes from Walt Disney Studio. It's from Disneyland Records. So, classic old uh, horror. And here, here's another one that is absolutely on the fringes of what I'm doing here with this video, but I want to throw it in here. This is from an Italian death metal band called Fulci. Now, check this out. Tropical Sun. Now, this is not a score. It's not a soundtrack. This is a full-on, just regular music record, and this is full-on old-school death metal. But what is cool about this is it is a complete 100% tribute to Lucio Fulci's Zombie. All the way down from the song titles to the awesome artwork and even all of the lyrics go in order of the movie, which is cool as hell. And they definitely ramp up the gore and the grotesqueness to fit in with the death metal style. But it each song, if you read the lyrics, go through the lyrics, go through the songs in the album, it goes through the whole movie. It's like listening to the movie. I just think it's so fantastic. And and I think this, this could have some crossover appeal for that opinion. I know not everybody digs death metal, but 
you know, I think I think people that's you know on the fringes of it could at least appreciate this because you know it is a horror record all the way. It's got Voodoo Gore Ritual, Tropical Sun, Apocalypse Zombie, Splatter Fatality, Matul Tribal Cult, Legion of the Resurrected, uh, Palms of the Palms by the Cemetery, Witch Doctor, Genetic Zombification, which is my favorite, Eye Full of Maggots. Church of the Undead, Blue Inferno, Immortality Virus, March of the Living Dead. Fantastic, man. I absolutely love it. It's great, and I recommend checking that out. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's fun to do it. Like I said, there'll be a couple more at least. I've got at least two more in the pipeline that I know I'm going to do just looking through what I have left. Possibly three. I don't know, but we'll see. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're into horror scores, drop some comments down below. Let's get some conversation going, guys. Um, but thanks again for watching Beyond the Realms, and I appreciate you all. Take care of yourself and be safe out there. Talk to you later.